everybody, Rocktimus Prime here, back with another video review. Now today, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Earthrise Grapple. Now some of you may notice two things right off the bat. One, I painted his head black. Not to be G1 faithful, but I felt like it needed a pop of black because it was just a lot of yellow. Also, he has a Repro Label Autobot sticker because the Autobot label that it came with was slightly squiffed. So I fixed that. Hooray! I never got generations grapple i did get the hotspot repaint of that mold and yeah it was good as hotspot but i never really wanted to track it down as grapple because again i knew nothing about grapple now this version i have heard people hype up a lot because it's probably the best grapple figure we've gotten in quite a while we'll get into the detailing here in just a second but first let's take a look at some accessories first off accessory wise he comes with this nozzle thing which is removable so you can give him another hand if you really want to he also comes with this really nice looking rifle also he has like a claw arm hand thing that goes on his hook but i i can't find mine i've had him about two months now and i can't i just took it off and put it in a bin somewhere because i really don't care that much about it getting in close here so you can see some of the details if i can keep him in focus it's just really nice, really nicely detailed here on the front. And which is one of the things I don't like about the Masterpiece line is it's going for a very tune accurate version, which is fine for some collectors, but I prefer a more meaty, a more uh, real world feeling Transformers than the animation accurate on some occasions. Because I just feel like the 80s animation was kind of... Hmm, kind of boring looking now that we've seen how he looks how does he pose well he poses really well now his head is just on a swivel and it is a little stiff because i painted it um i didn't paint the actual joint itself but that doesn't seem to help when i've painted the rest of the head i do wish it was on a ball joint but given the way that it's kind of sunk in there there's really not much you can do the arms are on a swivel and a full rotational they do go out about that far and they get this nice little black detailing, which is cool. It's not just a regular hinge. You do get a bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow, and as mentioned, the hands do flip flop. Oh, that was the dryer. I thought it was a thunderstorm. A thunderstorm. A thunderstorm. <laughs> Let's move this little crane thing here out of the way, just so we can talk about the waist articulation. His waist is on a pin. You do get another pin here at the hip. Goes forward, about that far. Back, about that far. Out to the side, about that far, so you can do an, an incredible Van Damme. But he also has a thigh swivel and a knee joint. Just the single knee bend, but that's fine. He also has a foot pivot. So you can get him in some really wide, get him in some really nice stances. Woo! Time for some size comparisons. Here is Transformers Earthrise Grapple. And here he is with Energon Roadblock, Armada Smokescreen, and Earthrise Optimus Prime. So moving on to the transformation. <laughs> Well, certainly is a crane truck. What is there really more to say about Grapple's vehicle mode? It's a crane. All right, thanks for watching. But seriously, aside from mentioning the detail and the one issue that most Grapples have, and I do have on mine, and I'll show you that in a bit. Um, 
I don't really know what else there is to say. I'd love to see an Inferno version of this. And I suppose you could say that in this mode, more of the details are brought to the front. They're very detailed. That's one thing the Siege figures are. And they're very well articulated and they're very nice representations of Generation 1 figures I could give a crap about. One feature that's in his vehicle mode that is not really accessible in robot mode is this little hook. And you really can't do much with it. I mean, it just barely sits in front of the truck. I kind of wish this was a little bit longer, like maybe one more pull out, but I feel like that'd be reaching at this point. If that's my only problem with this figure, but it is unfortunately not. So I mean, it's a, it's a hook truck. What else is there to say about it? The wheels don't roll super well, although that one's rolling really well. They, they just, all the Siege toys kind of have like a scrapey feel to them. And I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like it. They just feel a little bit too cheap. Hear that? That's kind of, <laughs> it's just plastic on plastic. And it, yeesh. This does lead me on to the one point of contention about this toy, and this will probably be the last time I transform him. Well, before this video. Because these little posts here are a little bit too thick for the holes that they are supposed to go into in his legs. And as you can maybe see here, mine, one of mine has almost cracked completely off. For some size comparisons in vehicle mode, here we have Transformers Earthrise Grapple. And here we have Energon Roadblock. Here we have Armada Smokescreen. And here we have Voyager Earthrise Prime. So Siege slash Earthrise Grapple then. Do I enjoy him? Yes. And again, that's saying a lot because I don't have any attachment to Generation 1 Grapple. No more attachment than I do to most Generation 1 toys, but this was the designer's chance to make me love Grapple. I have about as much attachment to Grapple as I do to Scoop. I love Grapple. I tolerate Scoop. Because they're both a character that I know pretty much nothing about and I have no real nostalgic attachment to them. And the designers on each had the opportunity to blow my mind with a figure. Now, granted, I am comparing the Deluxe Scoop to the Voyager Grapple. The designers did nothing with Scoop. I mean, yeah, he was in the comic for a bit, but it's Scoop. Who cares? Whereas with Grapple, he's a tiny bit more known, so I feel like they did a little bit more with him. Aside from the few issues that I have with the, the pegs in the legs, leg pegs, leg plagues. Aside from the pegs in the legs for vehicle mode and the option to paint the head, I think it looks better and the Swift Autobot logo that was just a defect on my issue. You didn't really notice it until you noticed it, and then it was like, oof. Do I recommend Grapple? Heck yes. Oh my goodness, yes, I recommend him. Mostly because he's the best version of Grapple that we've had in a long time. I don't have the Reveal the Shield one, but I do have the GDO hotspot. And that's kind of cool enough, and I don't really feel like I need to buy another Grapple now. Did that end? Was that a conclusion? I don't really know. But I like Grapple. I think you should get Grapple. He's pretty nice. So anyway guys, this has been Rocktimus Prime with Transformers Earthrise Grapple. Hoping you guys have a great day, great night, whenever you're watching this. Take care everybody. Yes! Yes! Got that filmed. And now, I can go get some ice cream grapple and you can go back on the shelf. Huh. I love it when a plan comes together.